Hello, you're welcome to this music business class. And in this class, our topic will be music promotion and music marketing. Um, this is a very essential top topic. You know why? A lot of artists who are frustrated and mad at themselves today, uh, it's just for one reason, and that's because they feel that they are not getting enough traction. They are not getting enough engagement, enough reward for their level of talent and for the quality of content they have out there. And it's beginning to frustrate them that so if I'm this talented, if I'm this good as a producer, as a musician, as a writer, and there is nothing to show for it. Why am I still doing it? Maybe I find something more rewarding. I want to tell you categorically that 80% of the times from my experience is because you have not marketed or promoted yourself the right way. You've not done it right or you've not done it enough. So this class is dedicated to treating these two aspects of promotion and marketing. Doing it the right way and doing it the right amount. It's very, very important. No matter how talented you are as an artist, no matter how blessed you are in terms of skills, if you cannot get the word out there about your brand, if you, people don't know about you, you're not going to make any sales and you have nothing to show uh, for all that you've got. I'm sure a lot of times you're, you're, you're surprised. You keep wondering how unfair this world is. An artist who is so lazy, uh, who is so um, not talented, in quote, they don't really have any strong content, they're just there, and then their music is everywhere, people are inviting them, they are doing so well in the industry. But compared to you, you know you beat this guy's hand, hands down in terms of talent. The difference might just be that the other guy is a better marketer. So as my student, uh, my objective at the end of this class is to help you become a better marketer of your own brand and music. So, what is music marketing and promotion? Music marketing is the holistic development of your brand's overall package to acquire new listeners and convert them into loyal fans. So you see the two objectives? Acquire new listeners, new customers, new clients, and then turn them into loyal fans, permanent fans. So they are not just buying the product you're releasing on this album, Whatever you're releasing thereafter, they have an emotional attachment to you and your brand. That's the objective of any good marketing. So that's the first lesson for you. A lot of people are carried away by the product they have right now. I've released a new single, come and download my single, blah, blah, blah. And they don't see any word again until another single comes out. It's a movement. It's about you. You are more important than the music. You've got to sell you. People should be emotionally attached to you to the point that whatever you are releasing, whether the music or some merchandise, some t-shirts, some brands you're selling tomorrow, people have emotionally bought into your brand and they will keep patronizing you. So it's about acquiring and retaining. Take note of those two words. You acquire new fans and you retain them. Music marketing goals are more to promote the artist than music promotion would be to promote what the artist does. Music marketing goals are more to promote the artist. And music promotion would be to promote what the artist does. What's your style? What's your brand? What's your music? Pushing it out there is all that promotion is about. Um, usually, music promotion will require those days you see people do posters when they release a new album, you find their faces on it, pasted everywhere across the city, uh, in stores and all of that. You hardly see that anymore for the release of an album for people to print physical posters here and there. So, uh, people are still marketing 
Uh, so we're looking at new technology, new uh, innovations on how marketing and all that is done for your brand in 2020. Why should you market your music? It doesn't matter how talented or great your musical work is. You aren't going to make a serious headway without the ability to showcase yourself to the world on a scale that is large enough to sustain your career. A lot of creative and talented people usually assume that lots of music fans and buyers would naturally follow and look out for them simply because they are good. That's a wrong and self-destructive uh, notion. Nobody is going to buy what they haven't heard about. What hasn't been hyped in the media or brand that hasn't been given magnificent or larger than life exposure? The objective is larger than life exposure. I'm, so, I'm sure you heard that clearly. So if your brand is this way in reality, in your marketing and promotion, people should perceive it as this. That's the truth. If you haven't done that homework, you shouldn't ex ex expect some sales. Unless you have major label, major record label money behind you, the ability to self-promote your music is one of the most important skills you can have. So as an upcoming artist, uh, you have to learn the skill of self-promoting because you don't have a record label that you're assigned to. You don't have anybody who is giving you any big cash to say, okay, put this into this and this, set up a big team in charge of your promo and all that. Until that comes, you must master the do-it-yourself approach to music marketing, and promotion so five tips in traditional marketing whether music or not marketing generally first the product obviously this is your music what's your genre your sound what makes your music different from others what will make you stand out from the rest you don't promote nothing you don't promote zero so the first thing is the product. What do you have to sell? What's your brand like? What music are you releasing today that is not already flooded in the market? You want to do Afro pop? You want to do R&B? There are millions of people around the world already doing this. What is the spice? What is the icing on the cake in your own Afro pop? In your own reggae? In your own R&B? So you've got to learn to package a product that is outstanding most times that's where the problem lies you don't even really have any genuine product your product if thrown into the market they cannot stand up if you put so much money into it and you push it to people's face after one month because it, it's not really a strong product it vanishes so product is key Two, the price. What are you selling for? You must master the art of pricing. If you sell too high, it affects you. The time comes in your career if you undersell yourself, it also affects you. I was um, having a discussion with someone recently and I talked about the cost to hire me as a one on one coach. And the person said, Oh, this is too high. You, that's too high. I said, I didn't just set these figures. If I go anything lower than this, I am destroying the brand I have built for almost 20 years of doing this. And number two, if you come so low, like you're recommending, how many people can I attend to? If I make it this XYZ amount and I have requests from every one out there to say, okay, come and be my personal coach, would I be able to deliver effectively the quality I want the quality I have in mind if I have to take seven lessons a day simply because I want to serve more people. We're talking about one-on-one. -on -one. We're not talking about release a course online and anybody can come and register for it. I'm saying just you sit down, you buy my physical time. I can't duplicate that time. It's prime time for me. So this is why I attach this price to it. So you must also master the art based on where you are in your career. Put a price tag on your work as a producer that uh, will just make you be in the right place in the industry, not lower than where you are, not too exaggerated. Placement. Where do you sell your product? 
the record stores, the online, the iTunes, the Spotify. Which radio stations do you want your song to be played? Which venues, event, festivals do you want to play? A lot of you have got fantastic products, fantastic prices in the music industry, but you don't even know where and who to sell to. Where is your market? Which channel do you think if you plug your material to right now, it will gain uh, followership? There will be activities. There will be traction. You need to discover that. Every product is not placed in every market. That's the truth. You don't take fish market. You don't take fish products to a market where they sell building material. Even if I... I went to that market to buy building materials and I'm going to need fish later. I might not just be interested in buying I'm like, what are you doing here? Would this be great fish? And I probably want to have option in the fish market because I have like 100 other people selling. So it's uh, more fulfilling for me to buy in a place where I've got a lot of options. So being in the wrong market, pushing yourself in the wrong place, struggling to perform on the wrong stage, to associate with the wrong people in the industry can affect how well your market is selling. So sit down, think, where do I belong to? Find it and push yourself in there. Uh, promotions. What activities do you do to bring in more listeners and fans? Do you place Facebook advertisements? Do you give free tickets to the first 50 people who go to your show? Do you do brand partnerships? So, aside from recognizing the market you want to belong to the placement you want to belong to you must also carve out your own strategy a lot of artists fail because what they do is a copy paste strategy what did this artist do to become successful how did this person blow and you copy that and paste it into your own uh, marketing or promotion agenda it doesn't work that way Look at your brand, look at your style, look at your personality and develop a promotional package or strategy that best sells what you have to sell. So your product doesn't just deserve only the right to be in the right market. It also deserves to use the right strategy to push it across to the uh, right people. So... Um, no particular strategy word for word line for line will work for any two artists you've got to tweak it to your own reality and the five p people people who are listeners your fans what is their profile how do they consume music what kind of music and image appeals to them? What do they want to see in your shows? That people who are meant to be buying your music, what's their behavior? What time of the day do they wake up? When they are online, what are they doing? What time are they online? Which radio stations do they tune to? So, it's not enough to understand your market your placement where you should put your music it's also not enough to identify the promotional strategy it's also very very important to understand the people their way of life everything about your kind of fans your kind of customers your kind of clients what is their lifestyle their behavior their thinking you factor that in to create a product for them and to reach them so take more time in studying analyzing the data you can even start from your instagram page pick 100 people randomly who are following you analyze their age range their gender their where they are from their educational background what they 
what they uh, share on social uh, media, what's their interest. So you can take that essential data uh, and use it to plan a career, use it to plan your promotion and your marketing. So those are five major P's in marketing generally. Product, the price, the placement, the promotion strategy, and the people. So when you want to start uh, a serious, uh, a serious um, promotional project, for instance, of course, promoting and marketing yourself shouldn't be just a, a one-time project. It's a lifelong uh, endeavor. You never stop. Every year, you must have a new promotional uh, plan. You must have a new marketing plan for your brand, for your music, for your... What am I doing this year to gain new fans, to get new customers, to enter new market, to gain new grounds? You must always have that in place. But generally, whatever your goals or your marketing plans or your promotion plans are, there are tools you need to succeed. There are tools you need to flourish and achieve results. Um, these are required usually by... A lot of people one is a compelling artist biography or profile where are you coming from what have you done what are your goals what are your dreams why are you into music what do you have that others don't have just a short your 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 profile or your bio is a short interesting story about you summarized story about you that gives me more interest that makes gets me more interested to want to go deeper into your products and your brand so it must be well crafted it shouldn't be all hypes and lies blah 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 that's why it's important the starting point for an artist or a music professional is to go ahead and build a profile some of you you have you got music you got videos you got but you've got no profile where are you coming from? So you might just have to pause everything right now and go build a profile. Humble yourself. Go find someone. Go find a company. Go find a studio. Go find a master. Learn. Serve. Be part of a system for one year, for six months, for three months. You need a portfolio. Some of you will refuse to do any job you would any offer given to you as long as it's not coming with money now you say no i'm not interested in this they have to pay me but how do you build a profile so you need a compelling profile it might not be so big at the beginning but you need to you have you need to have a story of where you're coming from you released a song and you want to promote it out there who are you what's the story about you where are you coming from what have you done so you need to build a profile look at where you can do internship where you can do you can gather work experiences where you can do regular performances that can be in your cv uh look for collaborations you can do with other artists that you can lay claim to to say i was part of this project in so so year i was part of the people who did this i created this i supported this it's important to have that as one of the uh, promotional tools number two uh exotic and super creative photos don't get deceived because your phone is got high capacity camera and then you're taking selfie to put on your album or to use to promote yourself at the point that you want to launch out there it's very very important that you uh, find uh, professional uh, camera guys professional photo studios to work with you need compelling photos Photos. I'm sure you've seen those kind of photos before. You see an artist program and be like, wow, very creative, extraordinary, exotic photos, larger than life photos. Those who know you in real life that ignore you, when they see your promo photo, they should pay attention. Wow, how did you achieve this? Now that's really the kind of photo you use for promotion. It must be extraordinary. It's not optional because once they see the image, 
they just want to get glued to it and that's when every other message every other product you have to sell roll in so it's very very important you get your imaging right three a proper description and understanding of your brand identity what's your brand about you have to define it what's your brand identity what's your brand uh, description what kind of music do you do you know you must describe it in your story have you even ever thought how do you describe XYZ is an R&B artist with a fusion of this and this would it go to this and this have you been able to describe your brand and your style uh, a professional artist website you need your website these days a good website costs less than hundred dollars to own so you've got no excuse to not have a personal website your website is like your uh, personal space on the web where you can custom tailor a design to suit your brand if you go on Instagram or Facebook, on Twitter, on Blogspot, any other person's uh, spot, there is a template already. There is a format you've got to squeeze into. But your website gives you that room to create your own story, to tell your own story, to showcase what you have to sell in your own unique way. So it's important to have your own website in 2020. Extremely important for an artist. Um, professional artist represent, representation and inquiry system you're marketing you're putting content out there photos website and all that who is representing you what's your contact details how do we email you if we need to call you so you need to put that in place are you hiring a PR person to do that for you or you want to get a friend or a family member who wants to manage you or wants to just represent you so that you're not the one talking to uh, fans or prospective customers directly so you need to have that inquiry system uh, well in place um, professional packaging of the content to be promoted the content you want to promote is the music is a video is the, your story are the photos you need the music CDs, you need music on flash drives, you need your uh, videos, DVD, artworks, and whatever, press release, whatever content you need to promote yourself, you need to get them handy, your business card, very, very important. A lot of artists think that, think that it's not necessary to have a business card because um, in your head you think you're not selling anything or you don't have a shop am i doing a business card for it's important to have your call card as part of your promo material um, a press release of course has the press said anything about you have you ever been interviewed before where are the references uh, so we'll move on to the next section means of marketing and promoting your music the means number one and most important your website like I mentioned, it's your space and the only avenue you have to custom tailor your story, your product, your design in a way that best suits what you have to sell. Social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and every other thing uh, there that you think is okay for your brand snapchat what have you anything if you think your brand should be there then open an account you should open it early enough uh, a lot of artists have the regret right now because when all this platform opened like i don't need it, it's not my kind of place and then your brand name by the time you realize you need it someone else has taken it you'll be so shocked when you open that account that person has got only two followers but he's just locked it down for years you can't get it anymore that your name has been taken 
for another person. So when all of these new things are coming up, it's always very, very important to tap into it. Even if you don't really understand how to use it or how to claim your, your, your space there at the moment, just reserve that name for a start. You don't have to comprehend it fully because you never can tell what it will turn to. Imagine when Facebook came out, we're all still on uh, MySpace, High Five, and then boom, swept them all off. So always be ahead of your game. Um, music blogs. Music blogs are very, very important, not just for the news, but also for the content. Websites where they can download music, whether paid or free. Um, music websites like Reverb, uh, Nation, SoundCloud. You've got to have your profile there and your music there. You know, list about 20 of those kind of places and secure your spot there. Um, music distribution channels. All the marketplace for music today, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, um, Boomplay, MTN Music, all the service providers and their music platforms, their music market. Uh, GT Bank has got one, Habari, so many thousands of platforms today. Highlight the ones that you want to be and get your music distributed there, not just distributed there, marketed and promoted there. Um, local radio station, uh, people still, millions of people still listen to radio stations around the world, online stations and terrestrial radio stations. You've got to get your music there, very, very important. Mailing lists, and online newsletters youtube very very important even if you haven't shot a professional video do some sort of photo slides or some kind of viral video you know put your music there just have your space because music consumers consume music differently there are some people youtube is the only way they uh, access music or their the bulk of where they access music so you can't be out of that space so you've got to claim your space there uh, put your music on there um, local tv stations print media live venues events and shows so beyond social media and internet you need to get physical every place where music sells you've got to be there live shows, events, concert, community, festivals, uh, anything at the community level. Submit your music, pursue it. Don't get carried away by the internet, uh, in, internet uh, promotion that you forget the real life. The life, all of the live venues that you have access to. Go give them your music. Go market yourself to them. Go give yourself a push, you know, in the real world. Collaborate with people in the real world. Um, okay, so quickly, what are the steps you now take once you want to embark on that promotion? What are the steps you take quickly? One, identify your goals. Always break your marketing plan into different periods okay the first six months or this one year don't have an endless promotion plan even though your promotion plan in real sense is endless i mean forever all through your career you're promoting yourself but always put it into different sections or segments okay for this year what do i want to achieve what's your marketing goal for this year and break that year into quarterly the next three months what do I want to achieve? Identify your marketing goal. That will help you to now determine uh, your approach. Do you want to launch your website? You want to release a single? You want to uh, release an EP? You want to release an album? What is the goal? Um, two, 
target the right the right audience once you have your goal then you ask yourself how do i get this done three have a promo package just like when you send a demo to a label to a label those days when you send your demo tape to a label to self-promote your music you need a good promotion package your package should have a press release detailing your news a short biography profile a cd containing the best of your songs a package of any press coverage you have had so far your contact information color photos you know so you always need to have that handy soft copy and sometimes physical copy especially the music you would at some point going to need some cds some people you're going to be marketing your music to want to play it in a car while driving you know so you need to have your promo market your promo materials ready depending on the goal you set for yourself you get ready the material there you must understand the most important of all of these material are the music you want to promote or the, you know the brand what you're selling your product must be top-notch must be world-class gone at this there is nothing called demo anymore every music that you release out there now must be globally competitive must be of international standard must be fully finished no more demo nobody has time with the abundance of music out there quality great music nobody has their time to waste listening to some unfinished products so there is no point giving your works that you're still building to someone to listen to to assess you get your best best product out there so your product and your brand the imaging uh, the hype and all of that must be done well alongside the product uh, find your niche the sad truth is every writer radio station website or fan for that matter you are trying to reach is likely being bombarded with info from other music uh, upcomings um, you must find a reason to stand out from that crowd try to find something that will make people more curious about you give them a reason to want to know more you don't have to advise you don't, you don't want to you don't have to devise a huge calculated persona but giving people a reason to check out your show or your cd before the others can help you so when you're submitting your material radio station tv station here and there blogs you must understand that thousands of other people are disturbing them like that so what do you do to stand a chance just stand out very simple isn't it a simple formula to stand a chance stand out with everything the music the brand the approach the tone you know everything stand out create a unique uh, brand a unique product unique selling point a niche for yourself maximize the internet a lot of people today what they are running around for the answer is on the internet search for it some people who are not answering you right now in real life you might be able to get their attention through email so maximize all of the opportunities that the internet offers you in this age there is so much abundant of opportunities that the internet offers you Make sure you have exhausted everything before you waste your effort uh, trying to chase shadows. Branding. Get your name out there. Make up some stickers, badges, posters, t-shirts, um, any other thing that can carry your name. Then leave the stuff anywhere you can. Just put your stickers everywhere. Put your, you know, give people your CDs with your image t-shirt face cap whatever you can put your image 
especially in your immediate community, make it go viral as much as possible. Don't be ashamed. Brand your car. If you've got a boss, brand it. Brand everything after your image, your brand, your logo to create that awareness. Keep track of your contacts. As you go through all of these steps, chances are that you're going to pick up a lot of new contacts along the way. Some of these contacts will be industry people and some will be fans. Never lose track of a contact. Keep a database on your computer or your phone for the industry people you have met and another database of fan contacts. These databases should be your first port of call for your next promotional campaign. And these databases should always be growing. Don't write anyone off. Don't burn the bridges behind you. Don't become so familiar with the industry contacts you have suffered to build to the point that you take them for granted or you write them off, delete their number, they block you on website, all of that. Always keep that industry professional space between you and professionals you meet in the industry. I get a lot of young people who meet me in events and say, can I have your phone number? I give them their phone number. I give them my phone number. I give them my WhatsApp number, only for me to start receiving um, broadcast messages every day, like two, three times a day. From someone you got his number, so you can you know, increase your industry contacts so that when you need them for your career, they can be there for you. And I block them off in less than a week after receiving too much of those broadcasts. You know, so do not be that kind of person. Make best use of the industry contacts you've got. Keep them. Keep that professional space so that you can always have them there. Always to your advantage. Sell the artist, not the music. Is that very difficult? Sell the artist, not the music. Any record executive will tell you that these days, record labels are no longer in the record business. They are in the artist business. The reason that records, a generic term for recording, aren't selling like they used to. This is an obvious fact. When so many, so many people have resorted to stealing music, records aren't selling as before. But the brand as an artist, beyond music, there is so much you can sell if your brand is buyable, if your brand is likable, if your brand is acceptable. So sell a holistic brand as a person of which music is just one of them. A lot of people focus on the music and they don't sell themselves. There are artists who haven't released an album in the last five years, but their finances haven't dropped because they are selling themselves as brand ambassadors. They are selling their image. They are still selling their brand without new music. So sell the artist, not just the music. So start thinking in terms of connecting with fans rather than merely pushing music to them. Music is a big part of what you do. A veteran A&R man recently said, says, we'll probably never again be able to sign someone on talent alone. Nobody will sign you anymore simply because you are talented. We would sign you Investors will push money on you as a person, as an individual, not just in your talent, holistically. Can I work with you? Can we, can I vouch for your brand to be sustainable and profitable? If I take the music out of your brand, are we still going to be able to do business one way or the other? If you truly want to stick out and stand out, you need to implement direct to fan strategies. Direct to fan strategies. Connect with people on a personal level. Share more than the music story with them. 
your day-to-day -day activities, your battles, your testimonies, your fights, your happy moments, everything. Sell to person. Direct to fan marketing strategy. Look at it as forming relationships with your fans, which gives them more of a buy-in. This is a much different concept than the old days of merely releasing a single and showering it in millions of promotional dollars, which crossing your fingers in anticipation that it will catch on. So you're not just investing money in the music, you're also investing money in the person, in the brand, and being there all the way to interface with your fans. You gotta look good, that's number nine, and be relevant. It is called show biz, business of showing up. If you know you're someone like me who doesn't like to be in public eye all the time, you don't want to show up, you don't, then go and be a behind the scene person like I do. I'm teaching now. I'm an entrepreneur basically. I do my business. I don't care about being seen or uh, showing anything. I enjoy serving from behind the scene, be, being behind those who are on the stage, helping them get there. But if you want to be the one on the stage yourself, I need to tell you the truth, it's a show of business. You've got to look good, you've got to be relevant, you've got to claim your space in that showbiz arena. Proper entertainer, even when they haven't eaten well, they dress properly and look good. Nobody out there looks at them and say, oh, something is wrong with you. Because when your person begins to go down, your brand begins to go down. Your music sales begin to go down. They are connected. You cannot disconnect your brand, your person, your image from your product. Very, very, very important. So make looking good. Make appearing your best all the time. Make it a way of life. Not just when you feel like and my last tip for promoting and marketing yourself if you are a performing artist or you're a producer do what you do more if you perform live perform again and again and again and again and again that's really how to market that's really how to promote yourself go out there and Take every opportunity, especially at the early stage. Don't be that artist who is looking for one big, mighty opportunities annually to get in front of the stage. Then what are you marketing? Your goal should be that whatever you're doing, you end up on the stage more often. So take advantage of every opportunity to be there. Are you a DJ and you want to really become successful? DJ more often. Are you a producer? Produce for more people. Get more artists off the street and say, come, whatever you take or you have, bring to the studio. I want to record a world-class music for you. Record for this, record for that. You know, you've got to build that profile. You've got to keep doing it more and more and more. You never can tell. One or two become very successful and that's it. At that point, you can now say, okay, this is the class of people I want to be producing for. This amount I want to charge. But you must do what you love to do, what you want to do, what you're promoting until that point in time when you don't have to even promote you don't have to market to get the new jobs enough people who have seen you perform in public places would recommend you for the next year oh i saw this guy i saw this young girl in this show the other time she's so good she did so well can i bring her to this our new show and that's how from one place to the other so grab every opportunity to be out there Physically and even online these days, you can put up an online show for your art, for your fans. Instagram live for one hour, Facebook live for one hour. Take your guitar, pick your keyboard or whatever, and entertain your fans. That's the whole essence. A lot of people spend too much time on the social media paparazzi and engagement, you know. But then you're not really showing the talent. You must find enough time to show. All of your skills all of your talents to buy in your fans to a point where they become 
a cult. They become emotionally attached to you. So that's the end of this uh, music business class. My assignment for you is that I want to see your six month career promotion plan. Whatever aspect of the music industry you've chosen to pursue, I want to see what you want to achieve in the next six months, step by step, and your strategy to achieve it. Regardless of what's happening right now, you can keep your career going. You can keep pushing. You can keep, you can keep you know, pursuing it with all of the resources available to you.